welcome to shared reading. The purpose of shared reading is communication and interaction. So make sure you have a core vocabulary board or your communication device so you can talk about the book while we read it. Today, our book is called, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. We're going to be focusing on the word help and talking about the different ways the characters help each other in the story. Let's read. If You Give a Mouse a Cookie by Laura Numeroff, pictures by Felicia. First, I'll open the book. to ask for a glass of milk. He wants milk. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. Look, the boy is helping the mouse get a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a nap. The mouse looks so full. He ate all the cookie and drank all the milk. Let's talk to the person next to you. When do you get full of eating? I get full when I eat too many cookies. Let's keep reading. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. He doesn't want to look too silly. When he looks in the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. Look, the boy is helping the mouse. He's going to go get a nail clippers. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. Wow! I see the mouse sweeping. He's helping to clean up. That's something you can do at home. You can help clean up. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want a nap. Wow, he feels, he feels tired. I see him laying on a carton. Let's turn the page. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. Look, I see, I see the mouse. He's in bed, ready for a nap. to him from one of your books and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. The mouse asks the boy for help. He needs paper and crayons. 
to make a picture. Turn the page. He'll draw a picture. I see a mouse. I see crayons. Hmm. I wonder what is the mouse going to do? I think he might draw a picture. Let's see. Look, he drew a picture. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name with a pen. Look, the mouse is asking the boy for help to get a pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need some tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he feels thirsty. Oh, look at his face. Look at his hands. He's touching his neck. That means he feels thirsty. So, a glass of milk. The mouse wants more milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, hmm, what do you think the mouse will want to go with his milk? Hmm. I like cake. maybe the mouse will ask for cake. Let's see. Chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he's going to want a cookie to go with it. Look, the mouse got a cookie. Yum. I like Turn and talk to the person next to you and tell them, did you like this story or did you not like this story? This is one of my favorites. I like it. See you next time. Bye.